let's butcher this guy. This member. Feral Hunter. It's very close. Stop this membering. Oh boy. Bentornati. Welcome back to the Cataclysm. In the last episode, we doubled up the wheels on our trusty armored infantry carrier mobile base and we used its turrets, especially the 50 caliber one, to mercilessly gun down a Kevlar Hulk from a position of complete safety. And that is great, that, that really speaks of how far we have come in this game. So what do we do now? I think we were going north towards a FEMA camp, so that's our destination. Small pond, several spent casings. I'm 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 looking at those. Uh, oh, sorry, raccoon. I didn't see you. Um, I'm looking at those uh, automatic notes on the map because sometimes those uh, lets you see uh, crates. Dead vegetation. Uh, I want to jump on this silo really quickly. Before we go too far. Um, binoculars? Oh my god, too much stuff. Can find stuff, okay. Got the binoculars on me. Go up, up. Up, look around, map, yes! Okay, oh, look at this mansion and FEMA camp and um, stuff. Ooh, there's even another military, military outpost. Not even a bunker, a military outpost. Isn't that a nice? So that, that could be the destination for next episode, but let's go for the FEMA camp right now. By the way, um, even if it says like 38% off-road, I can already tell that the extra wheels count. Uh, it used to accelerate really badly, like when you want to like uh, get moving from uh, from zero, let's say, like from 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 steel, you know, and you want to get. You just want to start moving. Uh, it used to be really sluggish. Uh, you, having having the full complement of eight large wheels on this really helps. All right, we are close. Tell you what, I want to start playing with my toys. I feel like I have a lot of cool toys, uh, and I never play with them. So I guess there's gonna be baddies in here. They still don't know about me. Turn off the headlights. Stop driving. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Let's drop. Well, let's not drop the HK. But let's wield the M110. and storing the inventory, the other rifle. So this is our sniper rifle, effectively. So this can allegedly hit. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah, there's people in there. <laughs> well, not people, there's zombies in there. And there's even, look at this. A zombie burner. Look at him. When bullets weren't enough to stop the end of the world, the military tried fire instead. Their failure is made manifest in this gas mask husk, 
its black suit torn and ripped. Its flamethrower, dangling limply at its side, is attached to a tank of napalm strapped onto its back, which trickles its contents onto the ground. So this guy is currently trickling napalm. And we have instead these guys to take care of. And they still haven't seen us. Can we snipe them from here? Fire. Uh, of course it will be a problem to actually ha aim. I have to use, I think... Uh, what is it? You? No, 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 no. Okay, one of them sees me. I think it's capital U? No. How do I move? How do I move the camera? Uh, move view. K L J H. K L J and H. So north is K. That is that is really awkward. An awkward movement scheme. Okay, I can move the view. How do I reset the view? Center view with colon. Okay, okay, I, I got this. I got this. Fire. This is, this is 20. So I need to get slightly closer. Okay, now they all see me. Can I... Wait, can you auto-target that? Tab. No. You don't... You don't target them for some reason. Okay, but I can use left mouse button to target. Wait a second. Oh, 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 oh. This is so much easier. I, di I, di I didn't realize this. You can use the mouse to scroll around and this to target. So, so much easier. Um... Wheel to cycle targets if you want, but no, let's do it like this. And precise aim. Okay, 61 damage is solid. Fire. On this guy. Precise. Oh, nice. So, these rounds are a little bit more expensive. But, uh, yeah, look at this. 59 damage. Oh, now, now, now you do it. Zombie burn is spotted, I don't care. I'm gonna kill him too. Fire. 54. Nice. 50 damage. Oh, this, this, this guy's tough. Headshot for 87 damage. And another headshot. Well. Wasn't that nice. We used 15 rounds. Let's take care of that guy. That guy isn't seeing us yet hasn't seen us yet. So, how do we take care of him? He's unfortunately still inside. Now, I think there's a chance that he'll drop the flamethrower. And I want it. How do I get to him, though? This is the question. Okay, I don't see him anymore, because he's inside doors are on that side. I see a tough zombie to the north, but that's not a problem. So he's still there. What if I go around a little bit? So I don't want him necessarily to notice me right away and start coming for me. But there are windows in here, and it's reinforced glass. I probably have a better chance of destroying the wooden wall with bullets than reinforced glass. 
So you know what? Let's try to do that. Okay, now I see you, you see me. What if I fire exactly here? that didn't exactly produce the effect I thought of. So the problem is I will have to go there, open the door and then run. And the key is now smashing. Will he be able to destroy the wall? Well, maybe eventually. Okay, tell you what, wield the normal rifle, store this in my inventory. This is gonna be dangerous. Okay, 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 in here. Okay, destroy the door. That's, that's okay. You can try and do that. Yes, destroy the door. Nice. And now I can shoot at you from a distance. Perfect. Perfect. Let's butcher this guy. This member. Feral Hunter. It's very close. Stop this membrane. Oh boy. Um, let's change... Let's change mode. Um, how do I change mode? Switch firing mode with S. Let's go auto on this guy. Because I don't like him. And, uh, let's just fire. What? Just a grazing hit. Well, firing from the hip is not, it's not great. Let's do regular aim. I'm being attacked. Ignore. Okay. There's another one? Okay. Okay, this place is dangerous. Where's the other feral hunter? No, okay, there's no more feral hunters. There's just a skeleton. Um, can I resume butchering this guy? A slavering biter, I don't like the sound of that. There's a lot of guys in here. So this place, sometime... Feral Hunter spotted. Okay, there's another Feral Hunter. How am I for bullets? Four, but I have two full Stanek magazines. Okay, that guy's gonna be on me. Okay, change firing modes, semi-auto. This guy's nearly dead. Let's precise aim. Heard clang. Feral hunter spotted. Okay, that guy's dead. Now the feral hunter is gonna close in really fast. Let's let him. Let him jump. And then we go full auto. Yes. Fire. Switch to auto and do regular aim. Heard clang, ignore. I got damaged, probably. You were attacked, ignore. Ignore, ignore. Okay, he's dead. That was worth it. Let's see, let's see what happened. Um, the Federal Hunter leaps. You block some of the damage. Yeah, he he clawed at me, but I, I was able to deflect. It, it it basically all happened while I was trying to steady my aim and 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 fire at it. I have nine more bullets. Let's take care of the closest one. 
No, 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 uh, no, Odo, come on. I forget to switch. Um, okay. Okay. Severely injured. That guy's dead. Three bullets. I just wanna... I oh, just wanna be able to notice if there's like very dangerous types of zombies. Okay, that guy's dead. This guy is almost dead, but I think I'm out of bullets. Yes, I'm out of bullets, so let's run. Let's get some distance from these guys. Because I've got to switch magazines. Walk normally. Reload. Drop. Okay. Now we can continue. This guy is nearly dead. This guy got a headshot. And for you, my friends, I've got a katana. Nice. And who else? There's a skeleton and a normal zombie. Uh, there's a grabber. But that's okay. I hate this sound. Can I say that I hate this sound? Yeah, come in here, come on. Grab me, good. Come on, tough guy. Stop bashing that fence. Normal zombies are okay. Alright, let's see if we can take a second now. No, 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 don't, don't, don't bash on the fence. Okay, that's better. Okay, I want to start butchering these guys. Let's do it like this, though. Let's gather... Let's gather the bodies. Gather round, children. Gather these guys. Zombie spotted, I don't care. Gather this guy. Butcher everything, dismember. Butcher, zombie soldier, dismember. Oh, let's butcher the feral hunters first. Yeah, stop. Dangerously close. Are you dangerous? Come on. Come on, you're not dangerous. Thank you. 
butcher everything, dismember, uh, butcher the skeleton, dismember, butcher this guy, oh, there's a couple of guys in here, let's move them, move the corpses, butcher everything, it matters, this must be, this must be members. Ugh. Oh, the blood. Right. Oh, a zombie brute? Okay. Zombie brute is the type of zombie you don't want uh, to fight in melee, necessarily. Unless you know you're really strong and... Uh, and really well protected because it can send you flying precise aim good hit precise aim ignore nice then activate scabbard start inventory nice how many of you are there I swear, like, I, I went in really, uh, you know, without paying much attention, because usually FEMA camps are empty. This one is, is crawling. Now, guys, I positioned near the hole because I wanted you to, to, like, get in, like, in an order orderly fashion. people I swear the worst look at this pile of bodies up, butcher, zombie, dismember, butcher, zombie, dismember, um, anybody left in here? Also, I hate it to break it to you, but there's probably absolutely nothing in here, like all these crates are usually very empty and sad. Maybe in the central room. Oh, oh, that's why. This one generated with a freaking <laughs> corpse filled pit. And that's how you get a lot of zombies going around. With a corpse filled pit. Come on, guys, come up. Yep, I'm still doing nothing. If you are lucky, maybe we'll get chewing gum or more zombies don't 
grab me. Wait. Wait a second, did they break my day pack? They destroyed my day pack. You fools. What have you done? All my stuff. <laughs> oh well. And also my binoculars are almost dead, so let's drop them in there just so they don't get uh, destroyed even more. So let's just... Oh, two corpse-filled pits. This has already been a while. Oh, zombie scientist. Hi. And there's a normal zombie closed in there, which is okay. I don't care. Oxycodone. Nitric acid. Oh, of course I can't I can't pick up this stuff. <laughs> Look at this. The scientist had a wrench. What you need to do real science. Anything to pry? Oh, more, um, more of these guys. Oh, I don't have my, <laughs> I don't have my rifle with me. Activate the scabbard because my rifle is in here. Okay, now I have my rifle again. Hello. Nothing and most probably that's not going to be anything in the crates. Trenching tools and very, very normal stuff on these guys. Grenades. I mean, you never say no to grenades, of course. Alright guys, give me a second. I need to go get another backpack. And I guess I'll just dismember all of this. Actually, maybe, since I don't think there's gonna be anything else in here, one good thing to look at would be crafting a backpack. A good one. How about that? Activate the lantern. Um, let's go to armor, storage. I can make a leather backpack, but I think I can make it better. I can make a survivor... Oh, this is a rucksack. Survivor rucksack. A custom-built heavy backpack. Durable, carefully crafted to hold as much stuff as possible. Let's see, survivor harness, survivor backpack. So I think the survivor rucksack is the bigger one. 25 liter of storage and 18 encumbrance when full. 
Whereas a day pack, assuming I can make one, let's see. No, I can't. We make a leather backpack. Encumbrance when full 17. Encumbrance when full 15, but only 15 liters. A travel pack. Travel pack is bigger, but encumbrance when full 25. Survivor backpack 16 liters. Hiking backpack is massive, but encumbrance 40 when full. Large tactical backpack is even bigger. And let's look at survivor stuff. The, the, the survivor stuff is the quote-unquote badass gear. Survivor belt. Custom built leather belt covered with straps and pouches etc etc etc. Survivor rucksack. That's what I need to make. So I need... Okay, two molly packs I can get. Probably from, from, the, from the military guys in there. And I need either a tack vest, four pouches, two purses, or one utility vest. Can I make a utility vest? I can make a survivor utility belt, which is not the same thing. What about pouches? I can't make... oh. Pouches. I can make a pair of drop leg pouches in 20 minutes. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned though that some of the zombies might be uh, getting up again. And I think I have something that I can wear in here. Yeah, I have a military rucksack. Or a hiking backpack, look at this. This is gonna be... Oh, I have the large tactical backpack. <laughs> Okay, let's wear this for now, but we need to replace this. Okay, large tactical backpack. Now let's finish uh, butchering all the guys in here. Alright guys, this is basically it. This is all the stuff that I collected as loot from the FEMA camp. Let's take a look at it. A few spare uh, rounds of ammo. Then, look at this. A standard flamethrower. Now, we already have a, a better flamethrower, but this guy, well, comes with a little bit of flammable uh, liquid. Unfortunately, the pressurized fuel tank in this one is not compatible with the one from the other version, so I have to keep both versions around. Then, what else? Kevlar vest. Now, the good thing about a Kevlar vest and not the ballistic vest is that this type of vest goes close to skin and I made the mistake in the past of butchering one of these for Kevlar plates. So, don't do that. Kevlar vest goes close to the skin, which is good. It's good for layering, okay? And it's only five encumbrance, so we will clean this and keep it. An M1014 shotgun, which is a nice shotgun. Not that I use shotguns much, because to be honest, like capacity eight rounds of shot for 51 damage. Our rifle has 30 rounds and does a a burst of four shots. Now the full burst of four shots at close range can do much more damage than 51. And you can do what? Four by seven, uh, 28. So seven, hmm, well, this will be just one round more, but for less damage, so. I don't think I'm gonna have a shotgun. 
M16A4. It's a rifle. How does this compare to my mine? Um, compared to this. M16. Oh. Oh, this is better. The M16 is better. But is it just be because of the suppressor on the HK416? It's a good question. And I don't know the answer. But I'm gonna keep the M16A4. Also, I'm gonna compare it with the M27. The M27 is probably supposed to be closer to the HK we are using. Also, this is a little bit better. Interesting. So, two weapons that are potentially better than our rifle. Then all of this stuff... Sorry. Then these are the rifles that we are just gonna unload. And drop. And then more MREs. I've picked up another pair of binoculars, even though it's filthy, and a utility vest. The utility vest is gonna be useful in uh, making the survivor backpack, which is good. And I think also the molly pack. Let me see. Survivor. Rucksack, I think. Yes, I can use two molly packs and then the utility vest. Nice. So, let me pick up all of this. And do something with it. Okay, first of all, I want to clean. Do I have my cleaning equipment with me. Yes, here's the washing kit. I can use the water from the vehicle and the cleanser too. So let's clean two molly packs. This binocular, uh, this utility vest, and this Kevlar vest. Oh, it's gonna use a hundred units of water. We need to find water. All right, I washed my items. Can I directly create a survivor rucksack. Yes, look at that. It takes one hour and 30 minutes, and there is no better time than now. So let's do it. Survivor rucksack. 25 liter of storage with a more or less negligible encumbrance. We are gonna use we're gonna use sinew that we have a lot of. We're gonna use rags, leather patches, two molly packs, and a utility vest. And duct tape. There it is. Very good, very good. So let's wear it. Survivor rucksack. Now, of course, now it's conflicting with the other backpack. My movement is severely hampered at the moment. Uh, I still can do something to consolidate all these magazines. So let's unload from this and then reload the ones that are almost full. Also, let me unload my weapon and reload these various magazines. I could also unload this and this and maybe this now 
Can I, for example, reload this one to fall? I think I can. And this one to fall. And this one to fall. And we reload the HK416 first. With this full magazine. And then I want to drop four empty static magazines. Yes. Now, where can I put more spare weapons? Oh look, I have a an M27 IAR already. I must have forgotten about it. Unload it. Unload this static magazine. And drop one of them and this empty magazine. Um, if I remove the suppressor, will I be able to reattach it? Oh, wait a second, I should have an extra suppressor though. Um, get. Uh, no. Get. And then select the suppressor so that you take the suppressor. Now, activate. Let's see. Do I activate the suppressor? I think. Attaches gun mod. Try and attach to the M16, which I think is better. Yeah, you successfully attached that. Uh, so, you know what? Unload my rifle. Detach the shoulder strap and attach the shoulder strap to the M16. Now wield the M16. And let's compare M16 with the HK now. Okay, the moves it takes to aim depends on the shoulder strap. So basically, shoulder strap attached makes the weapon slower. But the M16 has much better dispersion and a little bit more damage. So definitely keep the M16 instead of the HK. So activate the HK, remove the suppressor, and also uh, reassign the ladder and assign R for rifle to this M16. This is now my rifle. And also I want to detach the shoulder strap just because I don't need it. I'm gonna drop the extra mods in here. Do I have a scope? Should I have a spare rifle scope? Yes, can I attach a rifle scope? Oh, requires marksmanship 4. What's my marksmanship? Come on. My Marksmanship is 61% uh, Level 3, 61% Okay This is a little bit bonker I mean, these things are supposed to be easy to attach Maybe the attach things um, relates also to the fact that you have to calibrate I don't know But it would be nice to be able to attach a rifle scope to this It's gonna make it uh, slower to aim for sure but could be nice so let's store some of these guns in here um can you sort by category right 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 and there's also the fn scar h hk41685 which is the same as mine. I just have a doubled one. I now just have a double, so drop 
Drop, drop this one. And unload this. So we store in here. Eh, store the shotgun, whatever. Store the M27 and store the HK416. Take the offense car H, unload the offense car H, store the offense car H. Can I reload some of these magazines? This one I can. I have I have five full static magazine. Let's drop maybe a couple. Uh, maybe also another one. Let's drop this spare ammo. Let's drop one grenade. Can I store the flamethrower in here? Probably not. It's pretty bulky. The sniper rifle I'm gonna keep on the on the seat in here. Together with military ID cards. Okay, this scope can go in here. I'm gonna have the MREs in their usual place. Okay, the Offense Car H magazine. I cannot reload because I don't have 308, right? But I should have I should have a 308 belt, I wanna say. Yeah, I have a full belt. I, I kind of don't want to disassemble the belt at the moment, though. So I'll just store this magazine. Wait, I have two M240? Why? I have so many guns, guys. <laughs> and so many spare guns, too. Okay, let's store this. Wait, what did I just put in there? I don't know. Oh, the M9 magazine, which is for the Beretta, that I never used, by the way. Store this. And the flamethrower we will keep keep in here. Right. Okay. Okay. Now the filthy molly pack I can drop. And I think I can now also drop the large tactical backpack. And I'm just keeping the survivor rucksack. And Torsen Comrades is 29. Would you look at that? 33 total liters of space. So this is this is actually better than the day pack, probably. Yeah. We crafted a really, really good backpack. This is what we did. Let's drop. Can I drop the tool belt in here? Yes. Uh, the washing kit I'll drop in here. I still have the washing kit in me. Okay, yes. What else? I think I want to repair. I want to try and repair the binoculars, and I think I can do that with the soldering iron. Repair. Repair this binocular. Yes. Until fully repaired. Oh, oh. Did I? I destroyed it. Okay. 
So don't try to repair binoculars, I guess. Really, was the success chance that bad? Soldering iron. I'm just gonna look at the success chance. Oh, wait a second, success chance is zero. It wasn't like this before, though. So, fabrication seven, huh? My fabrication is seven. And I cannot repair binoculars. Oh, well. Do I have spare binoculars? No. So, I better remember to store the binoculars somewhere before combat starts. Hmm? Mental note. Mental note. Don't get in combat with your binoculars. What else can I drop? Calcium tablets, cigars, a full first aid kit, multivitamin. I don't need five morphine, probably, but I can keep it on me, whatever. Nicotine gum. All right. I think this is it. This was the FEMA camp. And yeah, what a what what a carnage! <laughs> what a slaughter! All the blood, all the blood, guys. This is it for this super long episode. Maybe this is gonna get uh, chopped into two halves. Who knows? Depending on how much stuff I can compress. But regardless. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Alla prossima!